Hey, good morning. Welcome to today's daily walk. Pretty excited about today's topic. So is your business missing this? And if you listen to past talks, you probably know what I'm going to say. So I'm going to say passion. Is your business missing passion? Oh, cool. We're going to talk about passion. No, we're not. Because here's the thing. I am passionate about DJing music. I love high energy music. It goes back to my mom. We used to go to the Detroit Techno Fest growing up. Yeah, literally, my mom was like into techno. <laughs> so yeah, it's time to go if you don't like techno. But yeah, that was our thing, man. We bonded. We, we bond today. She's close to 80 years old and we talk about the, the techno, she calls it. I call it EDM now. But anyway, so I got the mixer and everything. I haven't touched that mixer, so I am passionate about music in well over a year. I'm actually looking at giving it to, uh, to my nephew. So, well, what the heck? So what am I talking about? Now, what I'm talking about in business is your business missing this is calling. Calling is when passion meets action. Here's the thing. I'm not acting on on DJing music, you know, wiki, 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 because that's just not my calling. I love it. It's something it's something really good in my life. Maybe as time frees up in a few years, maybe I'll get back into it, you know, but it's just not my calling. So passion plus action equals calling. Well, you might say, well, you know what? I own a business. We, we manufacture widgets. I'd inherited from grandpa, pay, pays millions of dollars. It's great. You can absolutely 100% find calling in that. You know, a lot of people think like, oh, okay, you know, for me to, to be great, I, I've got to, you know, have this calling in my heart and this burning passion where maybe you, you have a business and you're like, man, this is kind of a means to an end. It's a way to make money. Okay, great. Let's, let's, let's talk about that. What, are, what can drive a passion that drives from abundance? So say you're in a business, you're ma- making widgets, you don't see a whole lot of meaning in it, but it is producing bountiful, bountiful abundance. So could you not be passionate about what you do with that abundance? Let's really think about that. You might be discounting a passion of yours that you don't know exists. So if you're in a business um, or, or a job that you don't see a whole lot of like passion in, okay, that doesn't mean it still can't be a calling because if that job is producing fruits that's allowing you to increase your, increase your giving, and increase your contribution into society. Um, I have a buddy who uh, he owns a construction company, and you know, yeah, I mean, they're they're, they're paving roads and whatnot. But I, I suspect I'll talk to him about this later. I suspect maybe he doesn't feel a lot of calling to it. Like, oh, this is not necessarily God's calling. But what I would say is, it absolutely is. They are building ball fields for kids. They are donating so much into the community. That's the calling. The business is just the tool allowing them to contribute towards the true calling. So your business in itself doesn't necessarily have to be your calling. It's what you do with the fruits of that business that may be your calling. Now, if you have an opportunity to have the best of both worlds, like you're, say you're passionate, say I, I was passionate about DJing, like I said I was, and say I did turn that into a business, hey, that would be awesome, but I just know deep in my heart that's that's not my calling, okay? So nutritional counseling or certification program, that is my calling. It's also a passion awesome. Okay. That, that's, that's cool. The one lucky thing I got in life, you know? So don't discount what you're doing or when you hear me or anyone else talking about, Hey, I'm fulfilling my calling. Don't kind of sit back in the self and be like, Oh, I wish I had a calling, man. If you're, if you, if you are giving your all wherever you're at in life and it's producing abundance and you're using that abundance, you know, it's kind of like the tree, the tree might not have much of a calling, but the fruit it bears that feeds the thousands, that's the calling right there. So the tree could, tree could just be like, well, what the heck? What's the sense of growing? All these other apple trees are growing too. You know, I'm not really passionate about this. But then you ask the tree, well, you know, are you passionate about feeding all these people with the fruits of your growth? Well, then it's going to say, well, heck yeah, I love doing that. There we go. So there's not necessarily the passion in the tree itself for being a tree. Great analogy, right? Um, But there is the passion in the, the, the fruits that it produces. So that's today's daily walk. Hopefully you're able to take something from this. You guys have a fantastic day.